Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman, Book 18 A Broadway Pageant 1. Over the western sea, hither from Nifon come, courteous, the swart-cheeked two-sworded envoys, leaning back in their open barouches, bare-headed and passive, ride today through Manhattan. Libertad. I do not know whether others behold what I behold. In the procession along with the nobles of Nifon, the errand bearers bringing up the rear, hovering above, around, or in the ranks, marching. But I will sing you a song of what I behold, Libertad. When million-footed Manhattan unpent descends to her pavements, when the thunder-cracking guns arouse me with the proud roar love, when the round-mouthed guns out of the smoke and smell I love spit their salutes, when the fire-flashing guns have fully alerted me, and heaven clouds canopy my city with a delicate thin haze, when gorgeous the countless straight stems, the forests at the wharves, thicken with colors, when every ship richly dressed carries her flag at the peak, when pennants trail and sweet festoons hang from the windows, when Broadway is entirely given up to foot passengers and foot standards, when the mass is densest, when the facades of the house are alive with people, when eyes gaze riveted tens of thousands at a time, when the guests from the islands advance, when the pageant moves forward visible, when the summons is made, when the answer that waited thousands of years answers, I too arising, answering, descend to the pavements, merge with the crowd and gaze with them. 2. Superb-Faced Manhattan Comrade Americanos, to us then at last the Orient comes, to us my city, where our tall topped marble and iron beauties range on opposite sides, to walk in the space between Today our antipodes come. The originatress comes. The nest of languages, the bequeather of poems, the race of eld, florid with blood and pensive, wrapped with musings, hot with passion, sultry with perfume, with ample and flowing garments, with sunburned visage, with intense soul and glittering eyes, the race of Brahma comes. See, my cantable, these and more are flashing to us from the procession. As it moves changing, a kaleidoscope divine, it moves changing before us. For not the envoys, nor the tan Japanese, from his island only, lithe and silent the Hindu appears, the Asiatic continent itself appears the past, the dead, the murky night morning of wonder and fable inscrutable, the enveloped mysteries, the old and unknown hive bees, the north, the sweltering south, eastern Assyria, the Hebrews, the ancient of ancients vast, desolated cities, the gliding present, all of these and more are in the pageant procession. Geography, the world is in it. The great sea, the brood of islands, Polynesia, the coast beyond, the coast you henceforth are facing, you libertad. From your western golden shores, the countries there with their populations, the millions en masse are curiously here, 
the swarming market-places, the temples with idols ranged along the sides or at the end, booze, brahmin, and lama, mandarin, farmer, merchant, mechanic, and fisherman, the singing girl and the dancing girl, the ecstatic persons, the secluded emperors, Confucius himself, the great poets and heroes, the warriors, the castes, all, trooping up, crowding from all directions, from the Altai Mountains, from Tibet, from the four winding and far-flowing rivers of China, from the southern peninsulas and the demi-continental islands, from Malaysia. These are whatever belongs to them palpable show forth to me, and are seized by me, and I am seized by them and friendly held by them, till as here them all I chant, libertad for themselves and for you. For I too, raising my voice, join the ranks of this pageant. I am the chanter, I chant aloud over the pageant, I chant the world on my western sea, I chant copious islands beyond, thick as stars in the sky. I chant the new empire grander than any before, as in a vision it comes to me. I chant America the mistress, I chant a greater supremacy, I chant projected a thousand blooming cities yet in time on those groups of sea islands. My sail ships and steamships threading the archipelagos, my stars and stripes fluttering in the wind, commerce opening, the sleep of ages having done its work, races reborn, refreshed, Lives, works resumed, the object I know not, but the old, the Asiatic, renewed as it must be, commencing from this day, surround by the world. 3. And you, Libertad of the world, you shall sit in the middle well poised thousands and thousands of years as today from one side the nobles of Asia come to you, and tomorrow from the other side the Queen of England sends her eldest son to you. The sign is reversing. The orb is enclosed. The ring is circled. The journey is done. The box lid is but perceptibly open. Nevertheless, the perfume pours copiously out of the whole box. Young Libertad, with the venerable Asia, the All-Mother, be considerate with her now, and ever hot Libertad, for you are all. Bend your proud neck to the long-off mother now sending messages over the archipelagos to you. Bend your proud neck low for once, young Libertad. Here the children straying westward so long, so wide the tramping, here the precedent dim ages debouching westward from paradise so long, where the centuries steadily footing it that way, all the while unknown for you, for reasons. They are justified, they are accomplished, they shall now be turned the other way also, to travel towards you thence. They shall now also march obediently eastward, for your sake, Libertad. End of Book 18